We've tracked the old bastard Caden and his undead horde to a patch of nothing two days travel south into the desert. The size and number of undead he's managed to raise in such a short period of time boards ill for the island village. Could the knights sent ahead of us truly all been twisted into these necromancer's puppets? We made short work of Caden's forces. It was more than satisfying seeing 500 stone block land atop an undead monstrosity. Heading north to Fierus, we found the island village in ruin. We've had our fair share of necromancers and death peddlers in the home country, but this, the damsel of Lord have none of it. I believe it was harder to convince the knights to not dive into the line of our enemies without thought than it was to defeat the horde. The lioness ordered our knights to distract over half their force with the promise of tearing into horse and man and left the center weak. And the peasants did well, crushing skull and bone of the risen dead. The village of Pharos is ours. A suitable port for trade. We've already had the first ship arrive from the lands of the border princes with some interesting news. It would seem a new king has risen within the dwarven ranks and is reuniting the Dowie of the Black Mountains. Could this be the ally we need to stem what is to come? Hello everyone, Pally Time here, joined by Captain Shaq! Hey. This is our Total War Warhammer 3 campaign. We are on turn two, believe it or not. Uh, a lot happened in the first turn. For instance, I reunited uh, the, or, uh, the, oh, excuse me, the dwarf faction of this area and gained a lot of territory up to the north. I was just looking at that territory. Shaq, uh, will you zoom in on Migdal Vongelberic? Wow, that rolls uh, right off the tongue. Where is Migdal something? What? Uh, it's uh, in the blue territories that I own, the northernmost territory, oh, eastern I see it. side. Way over there. Look at that mountain. <laughs> like that mountain. Oh, the mountain with the skull on it? Or the yeah, mountain that, that mountain. seems to be on fire? Because you've got a lot going on right now. Yeah, that mountain. Skeletor. Uh, maybe I don't want to live here. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. So, mm. Yep. My army just got way more expensive because a bunch of or uh, I keep calling them orcs. I'm sorry. I have another campaign going. A bunch of dwarves just joined my army. Uh, I'm happy to have them. However, in three turns, I will no longer be able to support them. So I'm going to have to make some pretty big plays this session in order to uh, not go bankrupt. What do you have going on on your side? Well, I don't have nearly as much as you've gotten going on over the Black Mountain. I was just noticing that you're surrounded by the goblin hordes to the north of you over at Migdal. Yeah. And, yeah, it's the Black Venom goblins. You've also got Gobspit not too far away. So yeah. yeah, you got all kinds of shenanigans going on over there. But down in my territory where it, it, it seemed complicated, but now it seems so much simpler. Uh, I am fighting <laughs> against the, the well, the vampires still exist and they've already begun raising the, the dead over at Al Hayek. That's Wait, the, they're already bringing them back? We just they, killed them. We <laughs> just killed, we just re-identified them and they're bringing them back again. So they've already got a four stack of something in the capital that we have to deal with. And I haven't even recouped like the, the few knights and squires that we lost in the last battle. I've got to do, so I think some recruitment and then maybe siege that city for a while, I think is my plan. Try to keep the casualties as low as possible. That's a good idea. I can move up for a siege right now, I think. And then sit on it for a bit? That's the plan. That's what we're going to do. All right, so my new dwarves that just joined me. Notice I called them dwarves this ready. time. Mm -hmm. uh, the commander is Alaric, I believe. He was rummaging through the underground, but I'm going to send him directly towards Mashkor Lobber. This is the... Final area in my in in my territory that I need to take over. He's slightly out of range, which is unfortunate. But I can also move Belagar, my main commander, to be much closer. And then next turn, I can encircle this. It and, says you've uh, used the underway. So how does that work? Do you just like pop up somewhere, or? Oh yeah, I make a hole. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make a hole. Oh, all for Carrick Izor up in the mountain. Mountain regions, okay. Let's see, so that'll secure what the whole province for you? I believe so. This is the capital of the province, so they are going to have some pretty big defenses here. But luckily, my new dwarves come equipped with a 
Grudge thrower. I think I know what that does. It's like one of my baby trebuchets. Oh, is it? I thought it threw goblins. <laughs> oh, it might. <laughs> I don't know what you load it with, but yeah. <laughs> so I'm, I'm set up for that next turn. Is there anything I can help you out with down here? Um. Well, we're not going to have to be any getting any fighting going on. I am putting out a rallying cry to some of the local lords. We're recruiting two groups of errant knights at the moment, and I think a group of uh, men-at-arms swordsmen wouldn't go amiss. Actually, we're going to go with some more peasant bowmen. Uh, because I'm... You want, I'm hmm? you want the good news? What's the good news? I just made your fiery rune even stronger that you like to throw at these guys. Yes! Uh, also, your ancient engineer that you control for me just gained access to a flash bomb. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Now, I know we've been sending runners back and forth between us. We've got our diplomacy going. Um, I am going to, I'm not going to use it just yet, but I am going to begin the construction of an outpost for your people in the city of Phyrus, which is on that island to my north. Um, oh! Because I'm worried well, that maybe the pirates or these vampires are going to attack one of these small cities and wreck it. And if I have a, 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 an outpost of your people there, I think you would be willing to defend me. Uh, I welcome an outpost. You've been a good ally so far. So done. I have... Three turn. It'll take three turns to get it, but I uh, Firus will be it. I might even Rebels. rename that city. Uh, I'll do it later though. Oh, I didn't realize I actually own all of the Black Mountains now. So I'm looking at the map, like I'm zoomed all the way out, and I have it set to attitude, so I can see like where my allies are. And you have the Black Mountain, part of the Vale. And if you take the city you're going for right now, you'll literally connect all of your territory. Oh yeah. Like all the borders will touch, and it'll. Yeah, that makes me happy. All right, I'm going to end my turn. I think that's it for me. Um, I am going to set the Black Mountain to give... Can I change what a region specializes in? Like, or is it set in stone once I decide that I want this region to make more money? Are they always going to make more money? No, you can change that. That thing at the bottom left, right? Um, you can yeah. change it. So for me, it's like we can venerate the lady and we all celebrate her existence, I guess. Um, we can do any of those, but you can change them anytime you want to. Okay, we're going to make my new dwarven allies uh, give some money to the, the high king. We need that money. Well, since they have uh, joined you, they might as well pay the tax now. I need the tribute. King's got to pay the bills. You are totally surrounded by like southern imperial factions elves on one side you've got a lot of neighbors that might not like you very much oh i'm maybe i should start making friends with some of them Let me, i'm gonna try to secure my territory first and then we'll figure it out yeah i mean if i was gonna not trust anybody it'd probably be what i think are ogres in the what? eastern border uh oh what's that oh they came out uh Hey, you know that new army I just got? Yeah. It says it's going to be a valiant defeat. Do you believe them? <laughs> oh, no. I, honestly, no, I don't believe them. I mean, they do have some orcs in here. They got some orc boys. There's a few goblins. It is kind of a scary looking army. But, I mean, I'm not going to run away. <laughs> oh, look at this. That is a lot of orcs, though. Those are actually orcs, too. Those are not gobos. Yeah, there's some orcs in there. There's some trolls in there, too. Oh, no. There is a troll. They brought a cave troll. Oh, these aren't rangers, though. I have a new ranged unit. These are quarrelers. I'm never going to say that again. That was so hard to say. The quarrelers, crossbow guys. The crossbow guys. They are armored and shielded. They're decent. No, they're crossbow guys who have the mark of decent melee combatants. What are your units? <laughs> Oh, we also have a new one, Thunderers. We have some black powder users now, Shaq. I'm going to give those to you. Yes. Well, let's see. What do these guys do? They're armored and shielded. They have giant shields on their back. Uh, they're armor-piercing missile units and also decent melee combatants. What? And they're spell-resistant by 35%. I love this unit. We, um, might, we might lose our army here. I'm not going to lie to you. But if we can kill as many of them as possible, I'll still be happy. So here's my plan. The catapults are gonna sit right here. 
and start shooting immediately. What do you want to bet that little goblin's hiding in those trees over there? I wouldn't put it past them at all. I wouldn't. Yeah, I bet they are. What's how are the catapults range? Pretty good. I can hit, I can hit the whole map from here. Oh, nice. Yeah, no, I can see it. Yeah, they're way out there. Really right. good. So, are all you right. thinking about charging? Yes, I'm gonna try. Okay. Okay. We're gonna fight for glory today. Notice I didn't say running forward. Oh, I don't think they know how to Wait do that. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I see him and they're falling back. That's prime time catapult target right there. They are so grouped up. They are literally fleeing as far back as they can to try to wait for reinforcements. Oh yeah. They're right behind the tree line. At least you'll be able to arc over. Well, that puts us in a weird spot because if they're gonna run all the way back, Oh, you still might be able to hit them though. Yeah, and all of those reinforcements are gonna come out of the same spot. I'm just gonna have our catapults move up like halfway up the battlefield. We might wanna set up a defensive area around them and just try to protect them, to be honest. So maybe bring the army more to the left-hand side and I'll yeah. even set up the um, the thunderers like on kind of up the hill a bit so they got a good line of sight to shoot down. Yes, perfect. Um, I might actually go all the way to the top of the hill, to be honest. They didn't have any kind of cav, did they? I mean, they had trolls. Trolls, but they're more like fear units. Than yeah, anything. monstrous, but not really. Okay, we and I mean, I'm not them. afraid of anything. We're dwarves. Okay, we're about to open up fire. Oh, I'm ready for this. The rocks are away. Oh! Did it land? It did land. You chunked the very first group of orc boys and they immediately turned around. <laughs> they were 120 strong. Now they're 108. Now I wonder oh. if they've got a better fire rate because they're starting to group up and this looks like perfect. There goes another one. Second There's the round rounds. Out. Nailed them and the group behind them. Yes, nice. Starting to thin the crap. That's a lot of orcs, man. Is a lot of orcs. We are really outnumbered. Yeah, we're very unnumbered. We They're just it. yelling at us over there as they form up. Here comes the rocks. Oh, brutal. One of them hit a troll. <laughs> she didn't kill him. I think he <laughs> caught it. They're not advancing very quickly, though. Oh, they're starting to move. They finally got the rest of the troops together. Um, their main leader is a spellcaster, and he's way in the back. Mashkor Lobber. Do you think I should keep the artillery on these grouped up enemies or focus it on the commander? Uh, I'm not sure the artillery would be able to hit the commander. He's only one guy. It might be better to just focus on the larger group. Um, okay, they're Speaking starting the to- the larger group. I'm gonna start aiming a little further to the left here. There's like 700 orcs starting to flank around the left-hand side. It's making me nervous. Oh, we're landing big hits in the middle of them though. Uh, Great damage. I'm moving up with the archers to assist you with that. Roger. We are about to be hit on the right side by trolls. All right, we're moving back a bit. Oh, staying out of the range. Firing into that too. Staying out of the range of the enemy goblin archers. They'll be able to fire over. I don't have line of sight just yet. They need to come up the rest of the way. I'm switching targets again to these right in front of us. Oh, not good, not good. Come on, boys, get a fire off, get a fire off. So far, the line is holding. Sadly, we are engaging in melee on the left-hand side, but your archers have already broken the enemy spearmen, the gabos. Perfect, perfect, perfect. If they could help me push these guys off, uh, these goblins that are right next to me. Turning we might go to the left shots. to help you. We're also doing great on the front line. Oh, right the now. leader is getting nailed in the front. You are holding them off. Half dead already. I'll start peeling off then and see if you can... Oh, he's trying. He's got to push himself out. He's almost out. He's almost out. He's almost out. You're almost in range, too. Trying to peel off. You're good. You're good. Right there. And he's breaking out to get to you. Uh, Come on, come on, come on. Nah, I'm going to lose him too, too fast. The trolls are routing. Thunderers are broken. They might rally, though. Meanwhile, on the right side, the trolls are starting to rally again, pushing back into our dwarven warriors. Yo, I, we knew that this was going to be an uphill battle. We knew it. Let's see how many we can take out. We can just stall them for a little bit. Come on, Thunderers, rally. Come on back to the fight. 
My artillery did not do what I wanted them to do at all. <laughs> oh, right side is starting to break. Up, oh, the artillery is now firing. They're back into the fight, and they're starting to actually do damage to those orc archers. Hey, guess who's back? Thunderers are back in the fight. Coming up to give you a hand. I'm losing my archers right now. Oh my god! The the great weapon dwarves on the left side. Legendary defense. Oh yeah, we've got a shot on them too. Starting to chew through the orc boys. Keep in mind that anything we take out here is just going to weaken their defenses back at home. So I can move in and reclaim my territory. These dwarves are going out like legends. Did we take the... Tr oh, most of the trolls are dead. Archers to thank for that. We've gotten through half of them. That'll be a big... Big boon in the next fight when the rest of the army arrives. Please turn and shoot into that. Those grudge uh -oh. throwers have 127 kills. They're getting work done. Oh, they're about to break that spell. Too much for him. <laughs> I love how surrounded this guy is. And his leadership's still at half. He's like, yeah, this is pretty good. I feel all right about this. Ah. Uh good try good try valiant defeat that's got to go in the book that actually might go in the book i don't know how that mechanic works and more importantly i'm not going to be out of money in three turns <laughs> <laughs> yeah i guess you don't have to pay those uh, those dwarves anymore though Thanks that for was joining an, thank that, you that was an open field battle though right so they might fall back whoever survived oh that is true yeah, because yeah. you weren't assaulting like a city or anything. So it looks like it was a valiant defeat. That's fine. Uh, I think they're still alive. They lost 600 orcs and goblins in that fight. Yeah, and we walked right on out. Oh. No problem. That was a great fight. Now it's time to get some sweet vengeance. They retreated back to the safety of their walls. Now, would you think about maybe combining some of their survivors, the heroes that survived that battle, into your main army? Yes, they will fight with the king. And then maybe retire their leader or something? Okay, I'm taking the survivors of that battle. I'm merging them into the king's army as soon as I can. We still have the catapults. We still have several archers. And I'm gonna let, uh, what was his name? Alaric, I'm gonna let Alaric go home. He did great. We're very proud of him. He has served his brethren well. Now, with the remainder of the king's army. Uh, do I need to heal that much? I think I'm chilling. I'm going to march right on up to this city I want to keep. These guys are in the Book of Grudges, and we will be there next turn to encircle their settlement. Now, how does the book, because you're playing now, you've had a slight against you. The orcs have Would you like to you. see the Book of Grudges? Yeah, how does it, like, what does it do? How does it work? I have opened the book. You may peer in only for a moment. It is for dwarven eyes only. Wow, this thing's like a phone book. How many grudges do you have? Oh, can I turn the page? No, just one page. Just four grudges at the moment. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but basically, anyone who's done wrong by me, I never forget it. We always hold on to that. That's it. And it is my job to wipe these grudges from the book, which means I get even. And this guy that's holding up in Carrick... Izor, I, what is his name? I'm special. Who runs the show? Uh, the Broken Nose. Rend is the guy who runs it, of the Broken Nose. I'll read you what it says. Witness by, uh, I, this is really hard text to read. The font is hard. Grimnir's vengeful sight. The greenskin mobs attack our own throng and fell irk treachery has forced a dishonorable retreat. We cannot will not let such a stain on Dawi uh, Korge past. A grudge is recorded. Ensure that it's settled. Sorry, that's really hard to read. 
The Dowie got a grudge. The orcs have made him fall back. All right. Cool, man. That's going to be fun. Carrick, I so you take Carrick Eyesor, and that solves the grudge? Do you get, yes. like, something for it? Is it, what, is it what does it do? Uh, I don't know. I feel good. Oh, okay. Oh, no, I get $750 plus 300 oath gold, which I use to craft stuff. Nice. Okay. That's actually quite cool. I have begun the upgrade of my city, Firas. So that's going to be a tier two now. So all my cities will be tier two. So I only have two. Um, I think I'm going to begin the siege because uh, I can't wait. They're raising the dead as we speak. I'm going to begin the siege of Al uh, Hayek. And we're just going to sit on it. I'm not going to actually engage it. I'm not going to invade it. So this will be starting in just a second. And start, hopefully starve them out. Because right now it's a valiant defeat. They're mo they're all zombies and skeletons. But they do have crypt ghouls. Ooh. And a black knight group. Ooh, okay. Um, I'm going to continue the siege. Draw your weapons. We hold. If they no step fear. up against you, we'll be fine. Yeah, as long as they leave the city. Because I think this is a walled city. We don't want to siege this. I think we're just going to wait. A lady guide your blade. They now come out into the field. The... Yeah retirement of Alaric, uh, I am actually a net positive for gold every turn. So the Dwarven financial crisis of turn two <laughs> has been solved. <laughs> turn one, the great growth. Turn two, which only lasted half the turn, was the financial crisis. Yeah. Wow. What? What the? If only uh, they could solve those in real life in that amount of time, dude, I feel like that'd be pretty good. That'd be pretty great. I love the unique mechanics. So so I'm sitting, my finances are great because I have a weird mechanic. At the moment, um, I have I have a number of peasants that I can basically keep for free. They don't really take an upkeep. Um, not much of one. It's called the peasant economy. But if I go over that number, which is based on how much, how many cities, how much territory I control, uh, it starts hurting badly. But right now I'm eight out of 10, so I could recruit two more peasant units and be totally fine. Do you have to manage your food? Yeah, is I, that right? it's basically managing the more troops that I call up from my realms, the less people are working the farmland. So I have to balance that. Bro, they got a big garrison there. I gotta be honest, I didn't even look at the garrison over here by me. Is this oh, for it's fine. Oh, guys, right? we got that all day, dude. That's fine. Oh, That's these no are the guys we just fought. They're badly wounded. Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's that troll that ate a rock you chucked at him. I watched that. It was great. I conclude turn three for, for me. You don't, you, that's, no, that's you, me too. I'm done. I'm hoping we don't get attacked by the undead. I want them to starve in that city for a while. Do undead starve? I don't... Hmm. I don't know. Maybe we're like cutting them off from necromancy supplies. You're standing in the way of the necromancy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no bones for you. So did I understand the book right there? If I would have retreated, would that have been another grudge in the book? Be or was that just kind of, you know, spice for the lore that uh, that grudge was because we did a retreat? It might have been. Did you did you actually hit the retreat button at some point? No, no, no. It was I was in the book already because they forced another I one of the dwarves to retreat, soul. I think. Oh, uh, I see. Hey, like a... the faction above me was destroyed. Oh, the the, uh, the gabos, yeah. What did it? What killed them? Uh, where were they at? They were Literally, directly. There's no... Oh, they were in. Um, I think it was Steingart, so north of your uh, Migdal Vandalbark. Who took that over? I wonder. Uh, it's the Golden Wizard. Took it. Hey, uh, they don't seem to like me. That that they're neutral. Should I be friends with the Golden Wizard? Um, he's, I don't know how dwarves feel about Empire. I think they're pretty neutral, if I remember right. I think that like a lot of the Imperial's artillery and stuff, they actually got shared by the Dowie and by the dwarves. So there, there's like an old friendship there, but it's kind of simmered for a while. You might want to be careful. It's going to end up being up to you. Uh, he is like the right hand of the, Empire, the Emperor, if I understand it right, of Karl Franz. So making friends with him will probably make friends of Carl Franz. Hmm. But you gotta be it's imperial politics get complicated, so you get friends How with so? one. Well, if you get friends with one one of the secessionist states or one of the groups that it, Carl decides he hates, if you know Al, uh, Aldorf, the Empire, 
decides that, you know what, that guy's really a jerk, um, that could cause problems later, so. So theoretically, let's say that there was a faction um, called the, uh, what were these guys called? It's not theoretically. The Southern Realms that fled the Empire. If I was then friends with the Empire, that probably wouldn't look good. To them? Maybe not. But then always, you know, relationships are in change. Let's see. I don't know, dude. This guy kind of owns three territories. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send him a wave. Hey, let's have a non-aggression pact, friend. Uh, he wants me to balance out the scales with $1,200. That's too Ooh. much. I'll come back later. Your friendship Thanks. isn't worth that much, buddy. Wait. Nope. Nope. Oh, I can confirm. Okay. Undead can be starved by being sieged. <laughs> oh, nice. They have taken damage. They will surrender in nine turns. Now, All right, Belagar Iron Hammer is walking up to the front door of Karak Izor, and he is going to encircle the city or continue the siege in this case uh, i will be taking this place back and they will not stop are you engaging them this turn i am continuing the siege okay is that is that the same as encircling yeah yeah you're continuing it for the next turn so they're sieged right now let's see if these orcs are feeling fighty and they come out for us i imagine the mountainous terrain, right, is what you're really all about. Because, like, I'm looking uh, at do, the, the terrain for me, they, and it's very bad for me. <laughs> it's unpleasant. They do seem to like it. Uh, it doesn't seem like the temperate climate is doing too much for me. Like this, the the Empire, Southern Empire groups, all that's temperate, yeah. That's all great for me, by the way. Well, you can have it. Sweet. <laughs> Sweet. All the way down the Sartosis, is all temperate. Um, someone in the chat said I should build siege weapons here. But I'm a oh, I see. Oh, they do have walls at Carrick Izor. This is kind so of like a, a castle proper. This is like a labor thing, huh? So the more siege time that goes by, I believe, you're going to build up that siege equipment. How does this work with my army? Is this totally independent? I've never done this. Okay, so, oh, okay. Um, so the way that you do it is you choose what you want to make and then it'll tell you how many turns it will take. And the army that you have will go out and they'll get the materials and they'll make that siege equipment. It'll be towers and it'll be battering rams. Um, the towers will have a unit of infantry attached to them that when used, they'll, the tower will deploy against the wall and that infantry unit will run up the tower and get on top of the wall wherever you tell it to go. And of course, the battering ram will batter the door down. Um... You can make it. You can make as many as you want, up to uh, you know however long it's going to take to, to build them. Though you have those mining guys that can take the door down, apparently. So up to you, man. You could probably knock their door down with what you've got. That is true. They are like they're like sappers. They can get under the gates and blow it up. I'm going to continue the siege for now. I queued up a couple towers. Cool. So if we want to get some guys on top of the walls, so that'll be that'll be easy. And I believe once the tower is in place, other units can use it to get to the top of the walls. That's what I was hoping. So yeah. my little dwarf legs can accelerate up. <laughs> so you don't need like one for every unit. Yeah. The difference between doing that and using the ladders is that the towers are faster and they don't make your unit exhausted once they go up the ladder, I believe. Oh, really? the ladder The ladder tires them out. Whereas the, the other one's just like a stairwell. So there is a piece of territory to the north of you called Fort Sol. S-O-L-L. -L. It's directly north of where you're sieging. That is yep. an actual massive fort. It's built by the Empire to, to fend the southern um, entrance into Empire territory. So that marks the official border of the Empire. And it is a beast to take. And it's very easy to hold. It's like layered... Um, shelving of, of territory so you can put like artillery on it so that just to give you an idea you that mountain range that you're on is kind of that denotes the southern border of where the empire starts including that fort oh my research is finished I my heroes are a little bit better they understand the chivalric code my population is growing slowly I can't do too many upgrades yet. We are at a net positive for money. I think once I'm able to take this, I'm going to check on the status of this because we weakened them a little bit. The lady guides okay. us. I think 
it says a, a Pyrrhic victory. Oh, Ooh. maybe I encircle for one more turn. All right, play it at, play it at cautiously. We do have weak dwarves, or excuse me, <clears throat> injured Ooh. dwarves. Oh. <laughs> Strike it from the book. You go down there and you, you say that to their face. <laughs> uh, but we will continue the siege for one more turn. I'm using one of my um, one of my um, ancestors to scout out the map for me right now. He's heading pretty far up northeast. Oh, is he? I'm going to take a look at that. I want to see what I can see what you see because we're ally, which is nice. Um, oh, yeah. Look at that. Is that more down? Yeah, it is. For war. There's a place called Varenka Hills you just revealed. That's another dwarven clan. Oh, how do I? How did I get that army to join me in the first place? I don't think I fully understand. So uh, how would I confederate hmm. these guys to be like, come on in? We love being under dwarf rule. This guy's great. That I don't know. I'm kind of maybe maybe the comment section can can tell you because. I know how the Bretonians do it. I don't know what bring, like, why did they decide that the king, the rightful king of Eight Peaks um, is their king? How is, you, how is your encircle doing down here? Ah, okay, I'm looking at your territory. Let's see. Um, so that was what, two turns? They are, they are losing cohesion. They're starting to fall apart. I think I'm gonna give it another turn because that's a big city with walls. I mean, if they're willing to just get bled out here. Yeah, I'm gonna wait. They've got some nasty stuff in there. They've got a unit called Frendrind Von Snickler, and it's like a oh. bunch of heavy infantry for some reason. I don't like it. I don't want it. So far, 10 factions have been eliminated from the game. 11 factions have been eliminated from the game. Oh, oh, oh. And, uh, <laughs> uh, 13 Gosh. factions, oh. 14 factions, 15 factions, 16 factions have been eliminated from the... Oh my god! What happened? <laughs> <laughs> it's weird to Bro. think that there's like a couple of factions probably just got eaten by ogres. Somebody got like corrupted by a demon. There's some stuff going down. What's Scabby I want? Is he talking to you? No, is he talking to you? It's... No. He had a big turn. I don't know what happened. Maybe he killed 18 factions. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're stuck on the Empire. What do they want? Oh, these... that's to you, I think. These are the... Va They're leaving. Wait, what? How did that happen? Did they just get in a boat and bail? They... Am I seeing yes! that right? They just sailed away. <laughs> Guys, your capital. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Oh, om the omens are ill. Something you have done has angered the gods. They're very fickle. They may forgive you in time, or more immediate appeasement might be necessary. Uh, I am uh, superstitious. We are going to pay that tribute. It was a thousand gold. Oof. But I, I don't want the gods mad at me. Keeping the gods happy. Look at the factions may destroyed. May I go first, sir? Oh, I guess you were already done. You already won. Uh, well, I've got to, I've got to just take it. There's still the, um, they left some undead in the city that need to be cleared out. Um, oh, no. <laughs> is that the blue sworded empire next to you? Have they just been eliminated? The blue <gasps> Oh my God, they have. Where? Tilia, oh, yeah, look the to your west. Oh yeah, totally gone. Sartosa is on a rampage. The pirate queen has just conquered oh. three cities, an entire region, including what is not an easy city to take. It is now burning. Hey, I'm gonna see this as an opportunity. Let me reach out to the guys to the Southeast. Hey guys, how you doing? You wanna trade? You wanna trade stuff? Suddenly they like me. <laughs> they like me too. Hey, Propose the, offer. Our neighbor's on fire. Maybe we should not be pissed at those. <laughs> people I the see south. this as a great opportunity. <laughs> <gasps> wow. The I, can are you pissed. imagine like the image in your head of your necromancer? The person who gave you life has been sitting in this town that's under siege, surrounded by an enemy faction, and you see him get in a boat and leave, <laughs> leave you behind. Guys, I'm going out for milk. I'll be back. <laughs> I need some sage wort. Yeah, for, for, for summoning more of you. I'll be back, don't worry. I don't think okay, he's coming I'm back, Okay, I'm moving guys. in. 
All right, I'm do taking it. this city from the goblins. Yep. This will be mine. Decisive victory. That's what I like to see. Get me in there. Let's go. I'm not sure what I did wrong with my catapults, to be honest with you. they I gave them a target to shoot at, and then it seemed like they didn't set up for it for a long time. Hmm. Uh, I mean, no, no, like, artillery has a long setup time, so if you keep telling them to do stuff, they have to, like, undeploy and move and set yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That might be it, or they just really slow fire it. I think maybe I should have moved them back sooner once the enemy army started moving up. They probably could have been a little more effective. Mm. Yeah, I mean, there might be something to, like, keeping them sort of away from the... Oh, look it! Look Are you in before me? I don't see anything okay, yet. Okay, okay, okay. I'll wait, I'll wait. But wait, you'll see it when you get in. Oh, it's amazing. Oh my god! Dude, it looks like a temple! <laughs> uh, you used to see, you're talking about the towers, right? You see them! Yes! Yes! Whoa! Oh, and so so guess where the enemy the, the, the units come out of? Is it the mouth? It comes out the beard! <laughs> it's gotta be the mouth! <laughs> oh, I like these. I like these things. So to use them, all the towers, you click them, and then you you it'll show up over the wall where you want them to like deploy to. So you might want to put them like in line with wherever you want them to end up. But that's amazing. This place looks cool, by the way. Oh, let's do a quick flyby of it. All right, we have a main gate here. We can see inscribed, actually, uh, a gigantic dwarven beard encompassing the gates as we move in a lot of clockwork machinery in these towers oh this looks so cool there's some molten magma pits inside of the city i was meant to live here clearly you have access to three ancestors this time whoa do you still want your thunderers they're pretty low on health um no, I mean, you can keep them in the back then. If we want to just keep them with, like, the, the catapult. They're a cool Master unit. I wouldn't want to lose them. We have a lot of axe infantry inside of the towers already for the in for the for the uh, initial push. Do you think I should have the miners and my general hit the door while they take the walls? It's not or a bad should idea. They, or should they just climb up? I think they should hit the, the top. hit the gate. I mean, it's a good opportunity to see what they can do against a gate. True. You know, now then we'll know. If you can knock over gates really fast, then hell, why not? Okay, I am ready we'll when you are. I'm going to send the towers time. forward, and uh, we're hoping for the best after that. Yep. I'm with you. Here we go. Melee heading for the door. Towers for the walls. Towers Search. for the walls. Sending the ancestors Their army forward. is actually pretty spread at the moment. Archers are going to move in behind them. Yeah, looks like and they've spread out way in the back, too. They've left a few units back there. That's good. Good for us. Our catapults are going to shift slightly to the right to get those guys in range and start sieging them down. So here comes the push. I want to see these towers move. I'm going to turn off my UI for a second. I see one dwarf in the back ready to go. <laughs> How, how are these propelled? I probably I, clockwork. I, clockwork, or maybe there's just a bunch of dwarves in there, like Flintstoning it. <laughs> you know, pushing it along. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but that would do. Oh, these right. things look amazing. The main amazing. dwarf army is getting up to the gates right now. The towers are moving in as well. I'll bring the melee ancestor up one of the towers once it's deployed to help us punch our way through. It doesn't look like these orcs have decided to take the walls and use the towers against us. No, it doesn't. And they don't really have any archers that, to speak of on the walls. Uh, um, I am already 2,000 health into this wall. Whoa, it okay. Is falling oh, look at the towers. They're about to deploy. Here we go. They're spilling out. We're coming out of the beards. Oh, the mustache flips up. Get them, boys! Oh, there's like nobody to stop you, so you're gonna be able to take the gate over. Understood. Yeah, that's fantastic. All right, are we through in. the gate yet? Uh, the you gate are. Is at a thousand health. It's 5, almost down. dead. Our warriors up on the gates eastern open. walls. Okay, gates open. I'm going through. I'm literally targeting Rend. He's my only target. Rend is at the gate. He's pushing for the front of the gate. They are bringing up orc boys to fight Let's us at the wall. In. What are you doing? 
Oh, they're holding formation. They can't figure out the door when they're in formation. Break formation. You have permission. Strike out. How are our catapults looking? All right, the first Wraith and Ruin is going out now. The rooms are cast. Slow down the enemy approach. Okay, we are in for this fight. I'm buffing my, my general right now. Rend is taking a bunch of damage already. I want to get my crossbow guys up on this wall to shoot down as well. They are currently en route to do that. We are winning the battle of the wall on each side, except for some of our axemen, which are getting low, but reinforcements will be on the way soon. Um, Rend is sitting at half HP right now, and I see a spell being targeted. Yep. Do you know anything about that? I don't know what you're talking about. Everything's fine here. <laughs> a massive eruption. On the left side, securing our advance even more. As Level our warming. I don't know what you want from me. <laughs> are starting to man the walls. No sonic oh, this is going oh well. we took the wall on the left. Okay, those spells are amazing, and I love them. Where's their leader? I, I sent the ghost. No worries. I sent the ancestor melee to help you out, and he's trying to get to him. Rend. He's at Rend. Rend is screwed. He's just Rend getting the hammer. Get out of this one. I think Rend might be trying to run away right now. Looking to throw a flash bomb into the group. Throwing it. Slowing down the four units. Okay, we're going to have our commander and everyone else in his charge start to move towards the right side. Oh, that debuff on the flash grenade is really good. Rend is completely broken. He will not be returning. Arrows still being rained down from above. We have completely secured the wall at this point. What was, was this supposed to be a decisive victory? Because it's looking pretty decisive at the moment. It's looking good. Popping a couple of buffs for the big, the big smosh pit that we got going on. Oh, they're falling yeah. off the wall. The orcs are blowing back. The little bit of force they have remaining over here on the left. I'm loving where you put the crossbowmen, by the way. Like, set up on their own walls, firing inside. Chasing off the you trolls. You see where I have the thunderers right now, dude. <laughs> right in the door. They are just holding the door, shooting into the backs of orcs right now. Oh, I see them. Well, you took the door. We're going to hold it. Oh, the orcs are trying to make a play for it, too. All right, a lot of our melee are going to start to move up the left side to secure that. Meanwhile, Balagar is moving to the east as well. He wants to secure both entrances. This is looking, this is looking pretty good. Let's chase him off. <laughs> it's your dwarf. Now is the season of our discontent. <laughs> what? All right. Calm down. Jeez, man. <laughs> This is when the battle is going in your favor. Yeah, what's going on, man? <laughs> I'm actually going to have the Thunderers turn around. I want to make sure these guys don't rally back to us. Melee forces are pushing up the left side. I'm going to have them veer right and take this capture point. Let's kind of reconvene our army all into one spot as well. I'm heading for this capture point right here. Oh. We got anything we need a spell cast on? It looks like they're mostly falling back. No, I think once Belagar hits these archers on the right, that's going to be just about it. I don't think. I'll do a side cast on this group of archers then so we can knock those numbers down quick. Oh, nice they broke. Cast. Rallying right away is another group of orc boys trying to retake the gate we pushed through, but all of our archers are firing in on that. Their leadership is breaking faster. But never mind, it's over. And that's I'm it. glad because I didn't have a metaphor there. I was running into that one. <laughs> Orcs are falling back. Very nicely done. So this is like a proper think... capital city, right? Like this is... This is my capital. Yes, this unites my region. This is huge. Something that can probably only be surpassed by Carrick Eight Peaks. I can't wait for that battle. If we can get to it. If you can get to it. Six months from now, we get there. <laughs> have you have you talked about that? What that is? Uh, so I probably should. Let's get back to the map. Okay. Decisive victory. You know, I think I'm gonna move in. Weird, right? Who knew? <laughs>
Parrot eyes And aren't. just like that, the faction of the broken nose greenskins have been wiped off the face of the planet. But this is just the beginning. Shaq brought up a good point, so I'm going to point it out. Up at the top of the screen, there is a symbol for Carrick Eight Peaks. This is my ancestral home. This is what we're going to be trying. I thought I could double click on it and just zoom over to it. This is what we're going to be trying to retake. One of the most important parts of my campaign. Until we take this over, uh, I think it's, yeah, I think it's this one here. It's somewhere in the fog of war, right? The greatest of grudges. Yes, until we take this over, my army upkeep is increased by 50%. I have a lot of negative things. So it's really important that I continue my momentum to the east, if at all possible. It'll make our lives easier in a lot of different ways. Would you like to know what happens to the Book of Grudges after you complete a grudge? Yeah, I would. It looks like a bloody smear <laughs> across <laughs> that section of the book. This grudge is done. That grudge is taken care of. Well, the Bretonians are looking forward to helping you march across the deserts and to Karakay Peaks. We, as long as we survived that point. I'm excited. Can I help you march somewhere, you know, in particular right now? Right. Is that your main quest? What is your main quest? My, my main quest? Um, yeah, so my quest is, if I open this up, I've actually got a number of them. Mostly it's, hey, you're on a crusade to the desert, go knock some stuff over. And one of them is the Undead Pyramid, captured and occupied the following Ooh. settlement. Um, it is the Wizard Caliph's Palace. And this is actually one of the Tomb King's territories. And there's quite a few of these. The Aaron Tree War begins. Most of this is actually to the west along the coastline. Um, but there are a few that are relatively close. Um, but yeah, it's all like go to war with the Tomb Kings um, and the vampires that are near you and some orcs basically slay the enemies of Bretonia along the desert. My campaign is already going much better than my previous one because all of the territory I own is good for me to own. That's a big <laughs> step in the right direction. <laughs> all the territory. I, it was the Ork campaign, right? Where you're like all over the place? Yeah. yeah. All of it was wasted. I, I took so many buildings that were useless to me. And then you pissed off so many people because you the border with them. So they're like, oh, that's has got to go. I can't really live anywhere in the desert, but that rocky area in ne south of your territory, that's perfectly fine for me. I might build a summer home down there eventually. Yep. There's already dwarves living there. You're the freaking king of Apex. Maybe you could just get them to join you. Uh, let me open up some diplomacy. Is that the Eye of the Panther? Yeah, I think they're like the Prospector's right. Guild or something. Yeah, Greybeard oh, Prospector it, Dwarves. They're a little neutral. Uh, a non-aggression pact doesn't doesn't look like it's a thing that I can do. Maybe you can shovel Wonder why some they don't gold like their me. way. I can't even balance the scales. Um, it literally the only thing for me at least says it's aversion. When you put your mouse over the relationship with them, the face, what does it yeah. say they condemn? What do they not like? Because they approve uh, of my my alliance with you. It's giving me plus three with them right now. So. Our relationship is improving, so I'll keep an eye on that. They like that I exist, so that's that's a good sign. That's a good sign. They like that you exist, and they like that I'm allied with you, so it's improving my relationship with them. So I'll make sure I keep them... I'll do my best to keep them friendly, um, to keep good relations. Maybe you can talk them into bending the knee. As I'll well do as... the best I can. I'll do the best I can. Are you going to be attacking the capital this turn? Um, I think I'm going to no, wait until the fight. next one. Okay. Shut so we'll wait fear. one more turn. And then I think the siege, it's time. That's actually going to be my turn. Have hearts. The lady I'm just skilling up some bonuses after that battle, making my dude even harder to hit. I'm going to make all of them harder to hit melee defense through the roof on all of them. That seems very dwarven. You are now have a maxed out rune of wrath and ruin. <laughs> but it might get better oh. later, but it's not getting better anytime soon. I forgot they just left. For Britannia! I you forgot. just walk right yeah, in? Yeah, I forgot the army left. I was like, no, I'm going to wait because they've got like an actual um, army. But no, they've got... Yeah, let's do this. We have to fight this. I'm um, down. 
I don't have the siege equipment because I wasn't expecting to siege it, but I don't think I need it. I think, well, I don't, I have my trebuchets. That's siege equipment. Let's see how it compares to what I brought in. Oh, oh that's nice. Oh, yeah. You you did the best you could. No. Oh. You did. So, that looks great. <laughs> we'll put that up on the fridge. Oh. <laughs> it's just got like a plaque of the grail and it's his tower. <laughs> mm hmm. Yep. Oh, but I do like the city that we're taking back. Or taking over. Look at that. It's very vampire. Very spiky. Oh, uh, can horses use towers? Nope. I How have do we to get, get in? A, we have to get a gate open. So okay. I actually like the side we're starting on. What I'm thinking is I'm just going to have all gates, all towers go directly to the next, the sides of that gate. And we get on it. We take the gate, open the doors, and get the cavalry on the inside as quickly as possible. All right, let's take this place. All right, let's do this. This is going to be ours. This will be for Britonia. And the lady. So, all of my ground forces are actually in the towers, minus okay. the, the archers. Uh, yeah, our job's pretty simple. We're just gonna push forward. Gotta take that gate up, get it open. I'm ready with Paladin to attack immediately. All right, starting the battle. Going in. For the lady. All right. Are you saying shut up? Are, are set up? Should I be worried about um, rocks hitting me? Um, yeah. Okay. That might be a problem. I'm taking out the enemy tower to the left before it becomes a problem. It doesn't actually look like they're using it. I Maybe the arch is forward. Your army plays what? trumpets Ow, when they're advancing. All right, Paladin is making contact with the gate right Field now. Uh, they're not even using that tower. I'm not going to bother firing at it. Retonian I'm going to start shucking uh, Every rocks. swing I do is about 400 damage. 400 damage. Okay. Attack! Uh, you're not doing bad, and I've got the lioness moving up. Oh yeah, that's doing damage to you. Let's not throw those rocks at you. Uh, uh, should I leave? Uh, you're fine. You're fine. You're fine. I'm turning to the gate. I'm turning to the. My morale's really bad. <laughs> <laughs> Do we even hit it? Oh yeah, look at the health of that gate thing. Tap. Yep. All right, getting the cavalry ready. I'm gonna move with you. Archers are gonna move them closer so they get more accuracy. I might just follow your lead with the dwarves and put my archers on top of the uh, the towers. It looks like all they've got is zombies and- Gates open. Oh, they actually have crypt pools up there. Gates open. Questing knights. Charge hey, the uh, lioness. I have a good idea. Paladin's inside. What you doing? We go. take some capture points. Oh, all right. The lioness will stay here and hold. If I can wiggle through that is. Hey, if you can get to their commander, you know what to do. Where is commander? I don't see them. Uh, they don't have a single commander, so there's no necromancer. There is just one leader uh, unit, and he's at the capture point to your left. I wonder if we can get through there. We'd have to push to the left. All right, bringing back the lioness. Give us a hand. The lady's fury! Let's see if we can get the cab inside. I'm threading the needle right now, dude. I made it by. You're in? I think. I think I made it by. They're trying to build a barricade to keep me out. I'm going to get by before it's done. <laughs> the paladin is on a run. You're all the way back there. You get through. Get up. No way they can stop me. This is my capture point. It is finished. Blind them. Yes. We've already destroyed a group of Skeldor Warriors. Nice. And the cavalry are just starting to pour through the gate. Let's go. I'm moving in with them. Uh, it looks like the battle for the gate's going well. There are bats on top of the gate. Be careful. Yep, 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 yep. Spearmen are kind of getting a little overwhelmed by it. Um, but they are peasants. They're pretty used to it. I'm sending reinforcements to give them a hand. Spearmen are on the way. Oh, come on. So who is this? This is Mason's group of my only <laughs> squires. On, Get them, boys. Did you make it through? Uh, their calves might gobble me up here. I'm trying no. to stay in front of them. I'm in front of them. I'm in front of them. Where's the paladin? Where did you go? Oh, I see you. I'm running for my life right now, dude. 
<laughs> I've ordered the cat, the artillery to start firing at the guys that you're heading towards right now to start softening them up for you. If you can, oh no, I see it, yeah. You've got Black Knights chasing the Paladin. Run! Massive, get out of there. Run! <laughs> Redirecting <laughs> artillery to your position. Oh, I lost some on the statue. I gained some ground. All right, I'm sending the lioness to you. You got back up on the way. Justice awaits. Uh, in front of you isn't a wall. It's a trap. So you should be able to get through it. If you need. Oh, shit. For the lady. Shit, I'm surrounded. I'm coming. Oh, shit. We're on our way. Okay, by we, I mean literally just the lioness. Get in there, Rapunz. I don't care if there's a trap. Are you sort of winning that fight? We serve our okay, I'm throwing rocks at you. I'm sorry, but it needs to be a thing. Peasant Bowman. All right, Peasant Bowman, Doing on the walls. Bidding. We're here. Thank you Let's for the go. reinforcement. And now that she's here, she's going to blind them all. My oh my God, that's epic. Oh, I didn't know it pushed them back. That is cool. Yeah, Raponce, get them. So they're, they're decreased armor, so we shouldn't be starting to kill them a little bit faster. Just hang in there. Reinforcements are already in route. Spearman at arms. Come on, Paladin, hold. This is what you're made for. He's going to get so much experience. By the lady. How are we doing? The gate battle is being won. Ready. Oh, these are their leaders, right? Yeah. This is Ferdinand von Sinkler. We kill him. We've won Get the battle for down. sure. Oh, yeah. She's got a health potion now. For victory! Hey, my calves were able to break off from the gate. Nice. Mine are on the way. Let's go. Big old wave of cavalry. Oh, my God. They're going to run right over him. Oh, it doesn't even matter. They died. Hey! Whoa. That was kind of epic. <laughs> Literally just singled out the general. <laughs> uh, I enjoyed the running past the defenses that, as they're being built. <laughs> The yeah, that was cool. That was great. The the mental image of just seeing skeletons frantically putting up a barricade <laughs> and plowing right through it as a paladin, that hits me right in the feels. Oh, yeah, man. Oh, that's good. So the first through the breach, the gate, was, other than the paladin who busted through, was the questing knights. And they're very badly wounded, but man, did they get work done. 174 do We're kills. We're so proud. They got wow. three promotions. <laughs> wow. <laughs> And with that decisive victory, oh, I got a fencer's blade. She found a, a weapon. I might yeah, give it I'm, up off the ground. I'm giving that to the paladin. I think massive earned uh, that weapon for sure. That's 1300 kills. And with that, the capital of my first region, I'm catched up. We will hey, now. why just got my capital too? Oh, I got a confederation offer. Those good and virtuous brothers from the island outpost of Firis, the Knights of Origo, are impressed with your actions on the battlefield and beyond, and would therefore like to join our cause, which they feel aligns closely with their own. We will unite together, brothers. A group of knights have now joined my struggle in the desert. Hey, zoom in on that boat in the water. It has skulls. Smoke Such skulls. Impossible. Like, emanating off of it. Oh, oh, they're burning. They have no attachment to a territory now. That's Those skeletons are falling apart. So cool. We're just gonna ignore the fact that I think there's pirates behind them, just like sailing around back Slaughter there. The no, it's Norska. What the hell? <laughs> All right, well, with that, I now own my first region and have established myself. And I didn't expect it, but we have a group of knights who have joined us. The Aaron Tree War has begun. This will put me in a better position, I hope, to help my dwarven allies. Oh, and just to top it off, I have been given the blessing of the lady for the victory, meaning Ooh. all of my army is buffed. Nice. Your deeds in noble and glorious battle have attracted the fae and ancient lady who is seen fit to bless you with her favor as a reward for your heroism. You shine now with a newfound radiance. Let no foe block your path. With the lady as your sword and shield, brook no resistance and strike down evil in her name. 
super cool. Hey, I have a question real fast. What's up? Is that pyramid to the southeast of you at the t the Black Tower of Archon? Is that what you need to take? I just zoomed in on that. It looks so cool. The Black Tower of Archon. It sounds familiar. I think it is one of my things. You said southeast of my turn. Oh, yeah. Um, that is definitely... Actually, weirdly, my... Yeah, that's going to be one of my targets. We're going to have to go after the Black Tower. Um, because all of the... Um, all of the skelly bones out here absolutely hate me. <laughs> Coming soon.